Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Last time, well, more like off screen, I saved my game. Last time, though, we got past a couple liquors, got the blue card key, which I always tend to forget where the fuck it is. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if I heard a liquor up here, oh shit. I'm so happy I don't hear liquor up here right now. Yeah, getting the blue card key in scenario B is a bitch, isn't it, viewers? Reminds me of that time of Resident Evil 3 that I've seen. Like, fucking hard. No, I'm gonna have fun playing that game. <laughs> no, really, yeah, it looks a lot of fun. No, I haven't played it yet. No, I wish, right? I, I, want, I want a physical copy of the game. Even though I could, like, buy it for five bucks through the PlayStation Store, I want to, like, have a GameCube or PlayStation copy, you know? Well, very nice. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I have a physical copy to play myself. Which I think will be very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do I want to go through this door first? Uh, how's my space? I guess. I'm just curious how I'm going to get past the zombies without getting screwed over. Remember how I said this room was a safe room last time and when you come back through here later it won't be? Yeah, I fucking meant it. No! Off, you sick asshole. There we go. Oh, I don't have anything I want to deposit. How's my health? Yellow caution. I'll use a small key, and I can get some shotgun shells. Nope, get off. Can I, oh, can I run past this guy? Maybe. Oh, and I can. He dodges. There we go. Yeah, I was kind of saving that red green for that. <laughs> uh. Okay, is this... Oh, fuck this room. Okay, let's combine that into my shotgun. There's gonna be a little friend... No? Okay. Oh. That's it for the spade key? I thought you could use it twice. Huh. Uh, oh, okay, okay then, game. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm totally okay with that. As long as this is a safe room. <laughs> Anything over here? Oh, patrol report. Which we've already read as Claire, so I'm not going to bother reading the same reports again. Alright. Well, last time we got the crank up here as Claire. And it looks like this time all we can get up here is a first aid spray. The only reason why I'm collecting the first aid sprays is because I never know if I'm actually going to need one. I didn't end up using one last time, but I was really close to using one. Like, if I took any more damage, I would have used the first aid spray on my test run. But, you know, rather, rather be safe than sorry, I say. I'm surprised there isn't a liquor in this room. Ooh, a green herb. But you know what? I am not complaining. I still have a good amount of ammo in my handgun because I didn't down all the zombies in the the room that was safe last time. A couple rooms back. Huh. Alright, I guess this room's safe. I just jinxed myself. Come on then, motherfuckers. I'm not even gonna try to run past these guys. This hallway is way too tight. I'm gonna have to down them. Get down, you fuckers. Stay down. Okay, he's dead. And now he's dead. Alright. Whew! That actually made me jump a little bit. Like, I was expecting them to jump out, but I forgot which windows they jumped out of. It's been a little while. Ah, this room. Alright. Here we can get... An operation report, which we've read already, so I don't see a point in reading it twice. You know, that looks like some, that little thing in the corner on the table. That looks like something I could get and use, but perhaps it is not. Well, let me grab it. Now, remember last time we had to come back with a lighter as Claire? Leon already has a lighter. Cool, huh? So we don't need to come back here. And this is how we'll get the first red, well, the red jewel. Yeah, the room with the liquor that we avoided and we said hasta la vista. Well, I didn't say that, but I should've. 
and I, I didn't I didn't even bother coming back the <laughs> I just avoided him basically we're gonna have to go back there and kill him because we're gonna have to get uh, a piece and now it's not the same piece as that Claire got but we're gonna have to get a piece in order to proceed with the plot huh only two zombies in this hallway well then is there an herb in this corner no, I'm not keeping quiet while meetings are in session. All the meetings are... That's all the meetings are about, okay? Right now. Not worth it. I need a diamond key for that door, so... Huh? There's no zombies here. Nice. Usually I bitch and whine and complain, but hey. Not in this game. I have more fun killing, uh, well, I want to say more fun, but it's it's easier for me to kill, like, the enemies in the newer games for me. The classic ones, I have to be more careful. Alright. Let's see, this is a nice save room. Well, yes, it is a save room, and a save room. I want to deposit the herb. I also want to deposit... Let's go and deposit the first aid spray, so a little bit down. As well as the red jewel. We'll be filling up all that inventory space later. I should actually deposit that green herb as well, because we'll find one on the outside. I never used a knife in this game. I mean, I used it like once, but it's just useless to me. Here we can get some more handgun bullets. Thank goodness. Alright, I'll buy that with our gun. Now, if you actually got the special key from Brad from going in the front, you can uh, unlock this, and Leon can get a, one or two outfits, and he can... Uh, and you can get the handgun if you didn't get it as Claire. I did not. Like last time, there's a film room here. I still don't care for it. Uh, you know what? I guess I should pick up these ink ribbons and just deposit them in the safe. Well, the item box, I should say. Because I never know what I'm going to need to save. Which is not right now. There should be one more greener outside this room that I left. Which I will be going back. Oh, obviously I'm going back to get it. I'm not sure if it'll be safe still. I don't care about the copy paper supplies and stuff. Obviously this police station didn't organize their shit good enough, huh? Alright. Let's go and head up this up these stairs. So we'll be getting that second red jewel here pretty quick. Basically the same puzzle as last time. Nothing new about it. Yeah, run to the wall, Leon. That's what I want. Like last time. It, this one's sealed on the other side. I'm not sure how to get to that thing again. So, your guess is as good as mine, viewers. I mean, I could beat the game and have plenty of stuff left over and you don't want to bother trying to come through that door. Yeah, you guys could say that I could look at the map and try figuring it out, but I still don't care to try to get through that other side of that door. Especially if, if I've been through that room already anyways. Alright, there's only one room in particular I really care about. It's not even close to where we're at at this point. Alright, let's go ahead and push this one. If I can ever get to it. There we go. Come on, Leon, push those blocks like Link. You can do it. Well, I hope you can. Oh, these are more like statues than just regular blocks. You know, I wonder how much these statues cost. Can you imagine being cheap irons going, oh... You know, I know what this police station needs. We need a thousand dollar statues on both sides and then a three thousand dollar statue in the middle. Holding a red gem that you can get by solving a puzzle. Seriously, who the fuck decided that was a good idea? As far as the guys in the police station? I mean, I like decorative pieces as much as the next guy, but damn, that's expensive. Oh, man. Oh, of course. How's it going? What's up? Stay down, fuckers. Die! Jesus! Come on! Yeah, I know you're not dead. Oh, there's another one! I'd say to just kick his head off, but he's not worth the healing items. He's worth the bullet. Come on. There we go. Oh, are you shitting me? There's another one? God damn, how many fuckers are there? Oh, come on. Oh my goodness, I should've just took out the shotgun. Actually, no, I take that back. Oh, are you shitting me. Die! For the second time! Because they died once already by turning into zombies. You dead? 
Good. Damn! <laughs> that was a lot of handgun bullets. But thankfully I still have a good amount because I didn't doubt any of the zombies in the office room on the, the bottom floor where like the safe was. I didn't doubt any of those guys. So I am quite fortunate. Oh, must be. Now you open up this locker, you can get the Magnum very early in the game. And usually I'd say save that kind of ammo, it's very worth it. But, you know, guess what, viewers? <laughs> Use it to your heart's content, because you'll have tons of ammo later. Oh, don't use it all, like, on every single zombie. More like trenches and, like, flickers and stuff. That's about it, you know? Oh, this is Chris's diary. We read that last time. Is there a disc that I can get? No. Yeah, Chris was very disorganized back then. I'm sure he's much more organized now. And here is Wesker's desk. And here's the picture of the stars member. I already pointed out who I can name off. Not everybody, but good amount. Let's see. I don't have anything over here? No, I guess not. Oh, a replica of a gun, huh? Okay, is there anything else in here? In this scenario? Can I pick up anything, game? I know in scenario A there wasn't, but... Huh? I guess not. Just a magma. And a diary. And the fax machine does not go off this time. Yeah, in case you want to see the fax machine... No. Why would you want to see that go off anyways? That'd be weird. Alright. Let's keep going. Now, unlike last time, we don't need a key to get through this door. Which is pretty nice, actually. When you're playing on Claire on scenario A, you do. Hey, how's it going? What? Hey, wait! Don't! Don't! Come back! You're a kid! There's no way you're gonna survive through this apocalypse. Hey! Ah. Uh, God damn it. Well then. On the right side, she does drop the diamond key. And over here is some ammunition, some shotgun shells. Now I have plenty to get rid of those liquors. Oh, it's gonna be great. Well, let's go ahead and head back. Leon. Oh. Claire. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah. Just missed her. Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Okay. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Makes sense. You know, before we had cell phones. <laughs> Actually, they did have cell phones back then. And if we have a small key, we can get this open too. We won't be getting a small key until a bit later. So, Claire's gonna go after Sherry, and we're just gonna go do our own thing. Well, for the most part. Ah, this puzzle. Ah, uh, nothing I can do about this one yet. Let's see here. I mean, I can, but the thing is, I don't have the room for it, to be honest. Now with the diamond key. I might just backtrack to get that one door open with the diamond key. But there's also a couple doors I need to get open. Shit. No, what do I want to do first is the question. Huh? What's going on? Yeah, remember that part where we closed the shutters with Claire? Yeah, it doesn't work in this scenario. And there's gonna be a lot of zombies. Yeah, it sucks, I know. Nothing to do about it. And here's a red herb here in this corner that I also can't pick up right now. I'm, I'm deciding what I wanna do first. It's really hard. <sighs> you know, I think I'll backtrack and then come back through here a little bit later. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. I'll backtrack, open up that room with the diamond key next to the last saved room I was at, in that hallway where it was clear last time. And this room's gonna be safe all the time, so that's gonna be nice. And then I'll get whatever's in that room while downing any zombies, and then we'll come back through here, and we'll go through the library and solve that puzzle again. It's the exact same thing as last time, except we won't be getting, uh, the colored stones, the red stone, blue stone, or yellow stone, like we did in Claire's scenario, eh? We'll be getting different ones. 
Oh, not, not stones. They're, they're just gonna be different items completely. You, you'll see. And you can get them later. I just don't recommend it because you're gonna have to go through a lot of stuff anyways, trying to dodge certain enemies and whatnot. Do I wanna use that key now? No, I actually wanna go deposit that. No, put away that gem first. And then go use the key. Ah, uh, back to the save room. It's always so comforting to hear those, the save room music. That means you're safe! Thank God. Unlike most of the rooms in Resident Evil 1. Uh, am I gonna see Trenchy soon? I hope not. I'm debating if I wanna take that with me. Uh, shoot. I got both gems now. Where'd I put the last one? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, you know, I'll take that with me instead of an herb. Clear myself some inventory. Now we have a couple spaces to... to get stuff, you know? Because you're gonna want that good stuff. Alright. Clear still? Good. Maybe it's because Claire cleared these guys out or something? I don't know, but I'm, I'm very happy that this room's still clear. <laughs> because if it wasn't... Oh, man, we might not have enough hand now to survive. Might not. There's no zombies in here? You're fucking kidding me! Damn! Oh, I am not complaining. No siree, I am not. Damn! There was like five zombies in here when I was with Claire. Yeah, five. Fuck. Is this still the same roll of film? No, I'm still not showing those. I don't care. They're just pictures that really don't mean anything to me. Wow. That is quite lucky. That... Uh-oh. I know what room this is. Oh, fuck. God, get off. No. Don't you dare come closer. And yeah, I am downing these guys for all intents and purposes. No shit. Alright, uh... Stay down. And you're gonna stay down too. Is he dead? Oh, you're shitting me. Why are there so many of you guys? Oh god. No! Damn. God, this really sucks. There's a lot of zombies here. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up this... Small key. Should be some ammo back here. There we go. That's what the... Oh, it's not what the doctor ordered. It's what I ordered. Alright. Oh! Shit. Damn it. Did I weaken this guy at all? No, it's not. So, I already put some bullets into him. There we go. He's dead. No, he's not. Now he is. Okay, let's go through this room. Is that another key I need? Oh, that's the hard key! Son of a bitch! You know what? I am a little hurt. I'll use it. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go, 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 go. No! Get off, man! Oh, I didn't weaken you at all, did I? Shit, that was a waste of ammo then. Fuck you. Stay down. Alright, let's go and unlock this door. And... Yeah, actually, I'll just go this way instead of going back the long way. Makes more sense to me. Oh wow, I lost track of time. Sorry, 19 minutes. Jeez. Okay then, you know what, viewers? I'm gonna end the episode here. So next time, we're gonna use the diamond key to get another door open. And we're also gonna use that small key as well. Next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 2. Oh, yeah, it's fully loaded. So with that being said, have a good day.